Hey everybody. So in the last video, I took apart the charcoal canister as kind of a side project when I was doing the DIY because I was running out of things to do, honestly. That took way too long. But um, it was so easy that I did it without really thinking to film it, and so I thought this would be a good opportunity to kind of show you a how-to, kind of look over the system, and then go through all the tools that you'll need, everything you need to look out for in order to do this. So this is the system as a whole. This top piece goes up to the top of the gas tank. This outlet goes right into the throttle body just before it hits the engine and then this whole thing this is all one piece is held on by these two bolts in the back just below where the rear shock is now the tools that you'll need in order to do this are a 10 millimeter socket for the back bolts there's a lot of hoses so you're going to need some pliers and then to tie up these two endpoints here, you're gonna need a breather. You can get this for just about any dirt bike. These are super cheap. You can find them for a couple dollars really online. And then a vacuum cap, which is something like this. I'm not exactly sure what the diameter is. Um, I just have a multi-pack that I got from AutoZone. You can get them there or O'Reilly or basically any auto parts store. And finally, a zip tie or two to make sure everything stays where it's supposed to be. So first things first, remove the tank shrouds and the right ankle guard above the foot peg for easy access. Then move your way to the left side and unplug the wire connecting to the system. The plug is orange and gray and you can find it just above the front sprocket. Keep moving your way around to the back of the bike and remove the charcoal canister bracket. These are held on by two bolts located in the rear just above the swing arm next to the shock. Now to actually remove the charcoal canister. I started up top with the vent hose next to the fuel door and worked my way down. It's best to disconnect the long hose going from the gas tank to the canister and then you can fish out the system above the clutch pretty easily. Now that everything's removed, it's time to cap things off. Attach the dirt bike vent hose to the top of the gas tank, then take your vent cap and close off the hole on the right side of the throttle body. I actually forgot this step and after I started the bike, it would rev up to about 3000 or so and would not settle down. So if this happens to you, you know there's a hair leak. Finally, the plug on the left hand side, if you leave this as is, you're going to have a check engine light because the connection is not complete. So to close the system, you have to connect both ends. The picture shows a wire, but actually after a test ride, I found this to be too loose and the check engine light flicked on and off. So I ended up using a paper clip because it was more rigid. Actually, I don't think I mentioned this earlier, so you're going to need a paper clip. You could cut the plug and the tie the wires together, but the paper clip keeps things intact. So if you need to reinstall the system, you can. So that's it, it's that easy. Just fire up the bike, make sure there's no check engine light and that everything's idling the way it should be. Put the shrouds back on and go ride. Thanks for watching.